Hello everybody and welcome to this JavaScript programming tutorial. My name is George and today what we're going to do is that we're going to do a brief introduction to the document object model in JavaScript. So before you take this tutorial you need to understand a little bit more about uh, object oriented programming. I don't know if you already know that. Uh, if you do this will be really easy, it's not that complicated. But basically what you need to understand is that uh, all websites, for example this index uh, HTML file, this document is treated as an object. So every tag, for example this p tag over here and this input uh, tag over here, uh, they can be translated into objects. So JavaScript can access tho those objects and manage their properties or changing values or whatever. I mean you, you can do almost anything with, with um, the document object model. You can manipulate your HTML by using these objects. And how exactly are we going to test this? So what you see here is a really basic HTML code and as you can see there is this input over here, is this button and we're going to call this function test and in this function we're going to uh, practice with some um, uh, DOM functions uh, to change the value of this, um, this paragraph as you can see over here. So we're going to use the document object model for that and um, so let's just start. So just get over here and write a variable for example. I will call this variable object and this object will be equal to this. Now what we're going to do first is that we're going to add uh, to access the document object which, ref which refers to all these um, HTML documents and we're going to obtain some uh, tag from it. For example this tag, this p tag in particular, it has the ID p1. So we can get that element for example by typing get element by id and this is a method over here this is a method that belongs to the document object and here in this um, um, this method you can you will type uh, the first parameter that will contain the id that you want to retrieve with this method so this is basically saying that this variable object will be equal to whichever element is on this HTML document that has the ID P1 and that element is this over here, is this element over here. So once you get that, uh, now the object variable will, has, will have all the properties that comes uh, from this kind of element. And there is a, a property in particular that is called inner HTML that we can say uh, we can change it for example saying uh, howdy so now let's save this program and let's see what happens so we come to the web browser over here reload uh, so we can have this code uh, loaded and then just click in this button and see what happens the text that one said hello world now says howdy and how how could that be possible? Well, the, it is possible because the inner HTML property contains uh, whatever text is, be, is between this uh, p tag over here. So if we say, for example, object inner HTML equals object dot inner HTML plus, and let's add a uh, uh, br no. Yes, let's add a, a br tag like that and just save this program and go to the to, to the web browser and now click this. Okay, let's reload and now click this and you say that the content is constantly changing. And if we check the code, we will see exactly what we're adding, for example. It says hello world and then we added a br tag and howdy and then uh, as we continue pressing this uh, button, we will keep adding howdy and a br tag. So we are manipulating the HTML code code that uh, was already written um, at, but at first. But now with DOM, we are able to dynamically uh, change it. So this is what DOM is all about. This is your first example. 
and I hope you find this tutorial really interesting. I hope you learn a little bit more about what DOM is all about. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Uh, like the video if you like or subscribe to my channel. I will make a little bit more tutorials about this uh, subject so we can learn more about the DOM properties. So thanks for watching and see you later.